Does anyone enjoy finding their way around a new grocery store? I don't. This weekend was really busy with continuing to unpack and find our way around town. I ventured out to find the grocery store without using my navigation. I'm afraid that if I continue using the navigation, I will never learn my way around. I'm going to try to get to the grocery store without using my GPS, and I think I can do it. I might get lost. Yay, I'm here. I made it to the grocery store. No problems at all. Yay. Seagulls. Seagulls in the parking lot. Don't see that much in Missouri. Does anyone enjoy finding their way around a new grocery store? I don't. I can't find what I need. I just want to go home. I've looked at several grocery stores. <laughs> Still can't find what I need. I don't know if what I'm looking for is a regional thing and they just don't carry it here, or if I'm looking in the wrong spot. Flour in a resealable bag. Can't find that anywhere. Brown sugar in a real resealable bag. Can't find. Chili starter. I'm never really sure where to look for chili starter, even in a grocery store I do know. I can't find it at all here. A gallon of water. That should be simple. Having a hard time. Ugh. When you can't find the stuff you actually need. You get a bunch of stuff you don't really need. Syrup, hot chocolate, Star Wars, cereal. Somehow, I'm gonna make chicken broth work as chili starter. Andrew and I also went out for lunch that was actually very disappointing, but my cookie was so good and so delicious. Check out how big this cookie is. It doesn't look that big, but it is big, isn't it? Hold it up to your face. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Bigger than Andrew's whole head. See? I need your review. Personal review. On a scale, just give me number one out of ten. Zero. You haven't even tasted it yet. Exactly. <laughs> the dog owner struggle is legit, okay? I feel like sometimes people think that maybe I'm just overly anxious about my dog? Maybe I am. Maybe not everyone has the most high energy dog like I do. So much of my time is devoted to wearing him out so that he doesn't destroy our house. This weekend was particularly difficult because I had a lot of other things I needed to do, but the dog wearing out saga project never ends. What do you have there, buddy? Atlas has found the new toys we bought him. But if you let me get them out, they would be so much more fun. I've been busy running errands, doing chores all day, and there's still a lot I need to do at home. I decided to come take Atlas out for a walk in the woods because I'm afraid he's getting bored. I'm afraid that if he gets bored or doesn't get to use all of his energy, then he's just gonna be destructive and terrible. I don't know if that's really true or not. When we decided to get a Weimaraner, so many people told us, oh, they're high energy dogs. If you don't let them use their energy, they're gonna be destructive, they chew things up. I'm really scared of him doing that, but I don't know if I went a day or two or three without um, taking my time when it's inconvenient for me to let him go do these things, would he become completely destructive? Would he be fine? Am I just doing this because I am too worried. He's, he's walking me around a tree. Atlas, the, the, we can't do this, buddy. Do I just do it so that I feel better about myself? Does he legitimately need it? If I don't do it, am I a terrible person? Am I a bad dog owner? Will I have a terrible dog? I enjoy playing with him. So I'm not trying to complain. Today, there is a lot of stuff I need to be getting done. I feel bad for not doing that. All of those things that need to get done at home are not living, breathing creatures. Atlas is a li living, breathing creature. So I feel like he takes precedent. Does that make me a good dog owner or does that just make me overly anxious? I don't know. Hey, at least I got Andrew to smile a little bit in a video. I'll take that as progress. <laughs> That's yes.